Uh, my name is Tony Pipes. Uh, I'm Executive Creative Director for ITV Creative, which is ITV's uh, in-house advertising agency, where we, we look after the brand of the network and all the sort of uh, marketing campaigns that go with the programmes. Uh, it's a lot of fun. So uh, I have a graphic design background, so this is, this is good for me. <laughs> so the first question, the first piece of um, graphic design that I kind of noticed, so I've got to, the first one was the Northwest Water logo. I don't know if you remember it, it was a, it was a droplet with a, a little wave and then a smaller droplet in the center of it. Now, my, my dad worked for Northwest Water, uh, which is funny because his name is Mr. Pipes and he got pulled up on that quite a lot of times. <laughs> but um, he had on his lapel, on his jacket. And so I, I used to notice it uh, as a kid. And it, it, it always looked like a face to me as a kid. And I always just think, and I, I didn't see anything else but, the, but this face for like years. And then when I looked at it again, when I was a bit older, I noticed that it was droplets and I thought that was really clever. And then I also noticed that the droplet was pointing like northwest. And then all of a sudden I just thought, God, this is this is smart, this is cleverer than I ever thought it could be, you know. And then all of a sudden the penny dropped that like graphic design wasn't just pretty pictures, there was a lot of thought behind it. Uh, and that got me really excited. Uh, so that's probably the first bit of graphic design that made me realize what graphic design could do, you know, as a as a thing. And then the the, the most sort of the most the, the, the thing that had the most impact for me when I was a younger age was probably the Run DMC logo. So hip hop, like, there's a bit of a cliche where hip hop saved my life, but it really did. I was kind of like a, a school and never really fitted in or anything like that. Didn't, you know, I was always like, because I was a bit creative and a bit weird. And, <laughs> and then when I found hip hop, all of a sudden I found this sort of culture that I could fit in with, you know. There was like, you know, there was, there was poetry in there, there was dancing in there, there was art in there. And all of a sudden I felt like I belonged. And the Run DMC logo sort of embodied all that for me because, um, it was just, it, it said everything about hip hop. It was like bold, it was powerful. It was like, Frank, I think it's Franklin Gothic typeface. Just like, it was just like confident. And, and when you're a teenager, having that confidence and having something to hang on to was like really important to me. Um, so that, so that was, that's probably the most, the, the thing that made, sort of brought me to life a little bit as a piece of graphic design. Uh, so the second question was um, what, what I'm working on right now. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing right now, uh, probably the most exciting thing I'm most excited about um, is we, we started an initiative a couple of years ago called ITV Creates. And it was basically uh, on TV, before the programmes, they have like an announcer telling you what you're about to watch. It's quite an old fashioned thing. But in the background, they've always had like a visual image in the background to represent the channel and I don't. Um, and historically, these have lasted like years. I think BBC One's last audience lasted 10 years. The ITV ones before us lasted like another like eight years. So there's like six films that get played to death, essentially. And we, we, came, we got a brief to do new, new idents based around a sort of new positioning for ITV, which was about um, being more creative because we actually make programmes, not just broadcast them. So we had this idea where we could, instead of having the same idents on for six years, we had, we, we're going to change and have a different ident a week. So every week could be a different ident, a different identity. And then um, to do that, we got uh, in touch with 52 artists. So every week an artist took over the channel essentially, made an ITV logo in any, any shape or form they wanted to make it. And we changed it every week and it was brilliant. It went down really well. And then um, the second, this, this year we did some groups. Sorry, my kids are just coming to the thing. <laughs> this year we, um, we did it with some groups, community groups. And then one of the things that came out of that was there was a there was an artist called I think it was called Sam Curtis. He wanted to work with a scaffolder, so he had this really odd combination of an artist working with a scaffolder, and that just made us think about this year ahead. So this year we're going to do uh, collaborations with artists, but uh, but people from different disciplines. So we've got like uh, we've got an artist hooking up with a dancer. We've got an artist hooking up with a bricklayer, three D printer. There's somebody doing something with a, a chemist, somebody doing something with a neuroscientist, and just to see what we can get out from these combinations, because we thought uh, with the, the year we've had, bringing people together was quite a good thing, I think, collaborating with, because everybody's been so isolated. So we're going to do 12 of those next year that will be on the channel, and we're going to change the identity every month on the channel uh, using those pieces that they create. Uh, so that could be really interesting, I think. So that's what I'm working on right now. Uh, and then the last question, the, so the, the piece of advice that I give to Pete, anybody starting in this is, uh, I say it to my team a lot, is take it seriously, but don't take it seriously. <laughs> so, so what I mean by that is, you know, do everything with, with precision and thought and put, you, put yourself into it and, you know, make it the best it can be. So take it seriously. But at the same time, you know, if you're, if you're earning money being creative, you're already winning, you know. 
so don't so don't take it too serious i don't get caught up in the feedback and the the sort of uh you know politics that can come with come with marketing and creative and all that kind of stuff just enjoy it you know just have, and, and just remember that you're you're being paid to come up with ideas or you're being paid to draw pictures or you're being paid to create you know uh, and that's wicked so you're winning so yeah take take it seriously but don't take it seriously would be the advice <laughs>